Hello, can you hear me, guys? Please type yes if you can hear me. No sound. Hello, can you hear me? Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? So, as we haven't seen the animation yet, I posted on YouTube recently. So, we are going to break down some scenes I created so far. So, first of all, we will start with, with this one. So as you can see, we have a character here and some animation basic, not so much. So we are going to do it. First of all, that was just a reference I got. I created this room, you can see as a reference. And then I just modeled it and texted it. For the animation, I just... Um, the blanket right I it's looking like the problem the camera is like it's just a camera trick you can do something like it and it's just fine. And for the cavity, I'm using the work by the So this is our cavity pass. As you can see. And for the global illumination, we are using the spikers. It gives us some good illumination and some shadow effect on our team. Let me show you. Right here. So, if you compare both of our schemes, if you compare both of these schemes, you can clearly see the difference. It's because they, this one just a uh, TV scene, and we will combine with both cavity and lighting, you will get something like this. It looks pretty good, then just TV and And of course, you could not forget our composition node, where we use diamond server node to sharpen some edges. Shadow node for shadows, just increase the cavity, I guess, and soften to remove the jack type. In the comments. 
some board facts. So as you can see, this is a Q&A. So you can post your question right here. I will try to give you answer. So go for it. I'm waiting for your questions. So then we will go to our other themes. Like the recent one. I just created, let me show you. I can because of air that let's see if you can hear me clearly now. Let's see now. There it is. So I just animated a bit of that one. So you can see here. I think it went pretty well. So we are going to do a breakdown of the scene. Yes, we are going to do that. So let me open the So to create that scene, I was using the reference from this artist. He is an amazing artist. You can see he created a lot of beautiful works. So you can check out his art station profile for that. He is on Twitter account as well. So we have this scene as you can see. It took me two weeks to model, which was really a long time. Sometimes we just pissed off because the project taking too long. And it's hard to do hard to be patience when it's taking too much long. Because I have to upload the files on Patreon every week and if I could not let people wait for two weeks for one project file. So it could be hard sometimes. So the main scene is loaded, as you can see. So we have to enable the first person mode. So as you can see, we have our software. Some buildings, our character to the bread. Icons, some cars, our train. Some trees, buses, and some random buildings and some post buildings. So create this scene, I went for the perspective modeling with help of FSPY. You know that software, I guess. It's pretty handful for creating a scene with uh, perspective modeling. Uh, my scene is lagging. It's not responding maybe because of recording. You have to wait a bit. Uh, that's fine. So let's see the notes of the building first. Oh, that's how you it down. So you can see uh, buildings. Let me show you the node. This is the basic texture of building. As you can see, it's style texture. I 
just download it from Blender, I think. Return everything of this taking too much. Removing the loyalty. Where is it? I think it's taking too much load. Yes, it's fine now. So, this is the basic texture of PBR material I downloaded. You can see there are four of them base color, roughness, normal, and displacement. And then I just use more on our texture for some overlay effects on our texture. So, it will look like this. So, you can see merging them. Then we have some vertex groups. As you can see, we have some C group, like this project. So this is the vertex group, your vertex color. And this is the second one. They are on the edges. As you can see, it, it's not important because I want some effects over there. I mean, this one, you can see it's the texture. But when I created this vertex group, Vertex color I mean. So I have a mask, so I can create some artifacts artifacts over there. So let's see. So as you can see, if I zoom in, you can see some. Uh, if I increase the display bump over here, you can see the cavities over there only on the area which is affected by that mask. You can see those are the marks which is effective label. It was important to do because I want some detail over here, just like the reference I used. And then I just found these two images on Google somehow, but I won't be able to find another one. So this text over here is. I just created less in Blender with the Japanese font. And these one are extracted from the reference. And for that building, let's see that there is not something special about that one. It's just a simple data you can see. A two texture node and a color M node and a two texture node. Nothing more specific about that. And for wood is important though. It's not hard to do the wood for me. So as you can see, we are using again the overlay effects. So it's like this. And we have a gradient as well for color variation. And then print will be STF to give it look like this. And then we have a floor or ground room up there. I know it will sometimes be much complicated, but it's just a, some simple stuff. We are just combining together. Like if you look at the layer weight, then select it. I'm just using the the further away, the more sun value we go, the sunlight effect, and the start we getting an easy effect. E A S, easy one. And then we have texture now lines, which I'm using. We get some element volume. You can see. Over here.
So we have that is paired with the just an HDRI. Yeah, nothing that we can uh, with just an HDRI. So what we have to do to pass the sunlight from here, you can just remove the shadow and sunlight will pass through. Let me show you if I enable the shadow just in the dark. When I remove the shadow, the sunlight will pass through that. Just that simple. So why I'm not using it as a world allowed? Because if I, I do not want to affect my team to be affected by the HDRI, let me show you if I use it that on the world. My whole scene lighting will be affected by the HDRI, which I do not want. So that's why I'm using it on a spare. So, while not such a symbol, it's not that complicated. The complicated stuff is that means so you. Need 